What's up comic and pop culture fans? This is James with Mint Hunter Comics, and I'm doing a partnership video with my local comic book shop in New Hope, Pennsylvania, Phantasm Comics. They've got a ton of bronze stuff in that's awesome. Spoiler alert, there is tons of awesome bronze stuff in here. But we'll get to that. I only scratched the surface. There's a lot of boxes he didn't even have out. So it's going to be an amazing week over there. Funny thing is, I went over there because he was having a dollar bin special. And I think I did pretty good on the dollar bins. But he also did have a box of the bronze, which I was happy to pick some of that up for. Got some really big keys in here. Let's start us off with the dollar bin stuff that I pulled. Now he had, it had to have been $20 bins out there. And let me tell you something, you can't catch them all. Some of the stuff in here I'm surprised was in the dollar bin. So let's get to it. Uh, first up, we've got one, two, oh, I thought I had a couple more. Uh, oh, right. Yeah, I put them in a stack to go to CGC. Uh, Green Lantern number one. This is the 90s run. Uh, that first issue, it's like somewhere between 80 to 100 bucks if you can get the 9.8, and I'm pretty sure they can, so that's pretty sweet. Uh, I don't, didn't need a duplicate of this one, number three, so I'll probably just move that. But that's uh, that's an awesome homage to Guy Gardner being punched in the face. It's like a motif they run with a lot. I've got a nice near mint newsstand copy of the first solo series of Deathlock. Totally works. A couple Green Lantern from the original run. And there's like a couple small time keys in there, you know. Every book here I actually already have in a 9.8, except for this one. First, Dreek, Olapet, and Floto Span. I could send that off. It is a contender. Oh, here's another one. And then I got almost, look at this, almost a full run. I picked up the most near mint copies I could possibly find. I'm not going to show you all of this, but of the Jeff Johns Green Lantern run. We'll skip a bit. It's a little too Green Lantern heavy for you guys today. So we're going to move on to some other things. But uh, I don't know, something like 30 issues of the Jeff Johns Green Lantern run right there. Nicest ones I could find. That is a very sought after run after all. All right, next up was this um, horror comic. Uh, it's too big to fit into any bag and boards that I have, unfortunately. Uh, but that's pretty cool. Uh, next up, we got a Superman 75. Very nice. That came with a poster, actually. We got a random Superman, but it was like a near mint copy. Pretty cool. Uh, nice Tucker's. Oh, is this it? No, this was just in the bins. We'll come back to this. A nice newsstand, number one of Night Stalkers, number one. That is a tie-in to the, um, what's it? The Midnight Suns, part one through six. I've also got Darkhold, number one. You're going to see that again in just a minute. So that's pretty cool. And then we got one, two, three... And I think four, dare I say, minty copies of the first appearance of Pit right there. Got a minty, still poly bag. I'll just put it in a bigger Silver Age bag of the Jurassic Park movie adaption, number one. Love that. Uh, War Journal, the final issue. Incredibly scarce, really tough to find in this high grade. That's a nice one. First appearance of Profit. did come with number two. Near minty. I picked up my Oh, you know, kept true to the name Mint Hunter this week. Picked up the nicest ones. Tales of the Crypt, I think this is a reprint, but it is a nice one. New stand. First appearance of Max, Blood Wolf, a couple others. First appearance of Black Wolf, Thunderstrike number six. Uh, first Photon Sword or whatever, smaller, Avengers Key. Uh, first Spider Cop. Uh, first Savage Dragon, one and two. This is the first appearance of, crap, what's his name? I don't remember, a couple first appearances in that one. Oops, let me move that down. Again, this is all stuff I found in the dollar bin here. Uh, Death of Cap. Uh, here's, here's one of the nice ones. They missed this one. 
Uh, Fantasy Masterpieces Silver Surfer reprint. That can go all the way up to a $50 book right there. Whoops, that shouldn't have been in there. Uh, FF Annual 23. Some key significance, just can't quite remember off the top of my head. Uh, Badger number one. I always pick that up. Uh, first cover appearance of the new Fantastic Four. Nice one. A little uh, Bernie Wrights and goodness. Always pick up Bernie books. Number one. Uh, 287, Origin of Bishop and Bishop joining the X-Men. Uh, here we've got a classic cover of Storm and a newsstand. Uh, we've got 312, which is the first appearance of Phalanx. I think I had two of those. Yeah, two of those. Very nice. Uh, 317 is the first appearance of Blink. Two, three, four, five, six. Copies of Superman Presents Phantom Zone number one. These are truly pretty much mint copies of that, so that's pretty cool. Wonder Woman, The Contest is a graphic novel talking about that first appearance and a couple appearances of Artemis, which is a great story, and uh, now I have a, a uh, graphic novel of it. Awesome. Adventures of Cyclops and Phoenix, just issue one, not the complete miniseries. Uh, 2099, Unlimited, number one, first Hulk 2099, first Ghost Rider 2099, a newsstand X Men 2099, Ravage 2099, Infinity Gauntlet number six, sharp copy of that too. Um, Hellstorm Prince of Lies number one, I always pick up number ones from Dollar Bins. Batman, All Star Batman and Robin number one, which is a run I actually really enjoy. I know a lot of people think it's super weird. Um, I hope they finish it. There's only 10 issues, there's supposed to be 12. I doubt it'll ever be finished, but that would be a little bit of a dream project for me. Next, we got uh, Batman 536 Kelly Jones cover. It's actually really high grade and a newsstand. That was in there. I always pick up Batman one shots. They do, they always move for like three bucks. This is cool. Detective 701. This is the first time that actual Bruce Wayne, not Azrael, beats Bane. Although, Bane isn't even on Venom in that issue. That is a newsstand copy right there, too. I got one, two, three, four, five, four, excuse me, four copies of this random Hulk book. It's not a key, but, you know, whatever. It's a near mint minus copy, and I'll take duplicates of it. It will go nicely in my bins. Here's a book that should not have been in the dollar bins. Doctor Strange, 48. First Morgana Blessing, Love Interest. First meeting of Doctor Strange and Brother Voodoo. Whew. I do have a DC Universe logo variant here. DC logo variants can often be fetched for, if they're near mint plus mint, you can actually sell them for like 20 bucks. This one, it's got a couple spine ticks in it though, but still DC Universe logo variant, so. Nice stuff. Fantastic Four Unlimited, first appearance of uh, Black Panther's Grand Pops. I do have a new stand near mint JLA number one. That was cool. Here's the uh, issue where Wolverine is sketchily watching Wanda and uh, Pietro get it on from the bushes, which is one of the most awkward moments in comic history. I got a Teen Titans number one, once again, Near Minty and Newsstand. Always grab that when I can. Now, I told you we'd be coming back to Midnight Suns. Check this out. Near Mint. It's kind of hard to tell because they're in poly bag, but the spines look good. I'm probably going to get these pressed and green. All right. Part one and two. My dogs are going crazy downstairs. Part three and four, part five and six. One thing I'm thinking about doing is actually getting them pressed and graded, but I'm gonna take all the posters out and possibly put them all together to make a big poster and put it in the antique shop. So that's pretty awesome. Looking forward to doing that. Now we're into the bronze stuff. I got a small stack of bronze and uh, some of it, well, I, everything I grabbed is a key, some of it's smaller than others. So it ranges from like lower mid grade to like very fine. No near mids here, but you know, it's okay, it's bronze. Uh, this is FF issue 119. 
Uh, Black Panther had to change his name to Black Leopard due to the increased radicalism of the Black Panther Party at the time. Okay, 120, good key here. First appearance of Airwalker, the second Herald of Galactus after um, Silver Surfer. I got 121. This is Airwalker versus Silver Surfer and the death of Airwalker. 122, I think it's just an iconic cover and story. Uh, 123 is another awesome Silver Surfer versus the FF cover. Bronze Age goodness right there. 125. Uh, this is the final Stan Lee book before he became a publisher with Marvel. Uh, so that's pretty cool. I have two copies of these there. These are the kind of lower grade though, unfortunately. The second appearance of Thundra. Two of them though. And I think we'll end our FF with 131. First appearance of Omega, the ultimate alpha created by Maximus. And we've got a Peter Parker, Spectacular Spider-Man number one. Uh, that was actually very underpriced. So that was an obvious pickup. Huge book right here. Well, big, I'll say big, not huge, but big. First solo series, first silver dagger. This is Doctor Strange number one. Why was I able to get this for such a steal? It's missing a page. Unfortunately, this bronze collection, um, about half of them were missing the Marvel value stamp. Um, so that's why a lot of this was such good deals. Um, because they were just, yeah, they were missing the stamp and what can you do? Here's a book I don't believe I've ever owned. It is complete, no missing Marvel value stamp on it. First appearance of the Defenders right there. Okay, not bad. Uh, Doctor Strange, or excuse me, Marvel Premiere number 10. First appearance of Shuma Garath, Death of the Ancient One. It's also the one where Doctor Strange becomes the Ancient One after, becomes Sorcerer Supreme after the Ancient One's death. Okay. For 229, classic gorgeous cover here. First Shade Thralls, but it also has an early Wolverine ad. That there was a little controversy around that. Like people thought it predated it. It doesn't, but it is an early, early Wolverine ad, that's for sure. Next up is one of my favorite books. I've had the pleasure of owning this a few times. The first issue of Black Panther fighting the KKK. Um, and the only book I like better than that when it comes to Black Panther is this incredibly hard to find Jungle Action 23. This is complete. Everything's been complete except for that Doctor Strange one so far. I grabbed the ones I saw that were complete. I do have a complete nice shape of a uh, Joker number one, clean and press can do some good on that too. And more of it, even a clean than a press. So that's very nice. Um, here's a really good one. Daredevil 131. And why was I able to get such a ridiculously good deal on it? And the funny thing is, is it's sharp too. Especially with a clean and a press, you can really do some good there. It's missing the Marvel value stamp. <laughs> Oh well, hey, makes it way more affordable. Marvel <laughs> Premiere number one, uh, Rebirth of Him, renamed Adam Warlock by the High Evolutionary. And uh, that is a really nice book. Uh, first appearance of also the Soul Infinity Stone. Let's keep it going. Another big key here. I just got this one back from CBCS, which I'll do an unboxing probably this week for Strange Tales 178, First Magus, First Universal Church of Truth. There's like a couple other things going on in there too. It's like the revamp of Warlock, if you will. That, that's a huge book, um, and that's complete. Same thing with this first appearance of Pip the Troll. That is complete. Uh, I think the only incomplete ones I got, the Daredevil 131 missing the Marvel value, and the Doctor Strange missing the page. Uh, 180 is the first appearance of Gamora, and that marks the first ever time I have owned that book, my friends. That is a big deal for me. Uh, next up, one more, uh, 181, first reveal of Gamora's name, and uh, third appearance of Pip the Troll, second appearance of Gamora. Uh, then we've got... Um, Here's a key I always try to grab. 
This one is missing the Marvel value stamp, unfortunately. First solo series for Guardians of the Galaxy. And then I've never understood why this one, number four, is less expensive. But it's the first appearance of Nick Gold, first Karanda, first Alita. There's a couple things going on in there. That's a nice book. That one is not missing the value stamp. So, so far of the bronze, two are missing a value stamp. One was missing a page. The next book and last book is complete. You're going to really dig this one. First time I owned it, Werewolf by Night, 32. In need of a little bit of a clean and a press, more so I would say a press. I know with full confidence that that is white pages right there. It's got some spine ticks. It does. It's got a, a little bit of a dog ear. Yeah, I'm, I'm pretty happy with that. That's probably like a six. Really happy with that book right there. That is the first freaking appearance of Moon Knight, baby. Um, yeah, that, that's awesome. So I, I'm happy about the bronze. I'm happy with the dollar pickups. All in all, it was a really good day. Totally thrilled about it. And the funny thing is, when this video drops, which will probably be on Monday, I will have already done a claim sale and possibly maybe everything here is gonna be gone. Anyway, guys, books are out there. Phantasm Comics got some awesome stuff in. I might have to head back in because I, I didn't get to see the rest of the boxes. Phantasm Comics and New Hope, uh, he's always getting awesome stuff in. That's why they are my favorite local comic book shop. I will see you all at the next video. Keep on hunting. Well, everybody, here it is. Officially my cover of Gargoyles number five. That is absolutely insane. I have my own cover. Childhood, check right there. This is absolutely awesome. Make sure you ask your retailer to order your copy in store, or you can get it online right here. I know I'm going to be getting a bunch of copies myself to send to my friends and family. You can get yours here as well. I'm very excited to announce this for you guys. I'm so happy about this. Hopefully, here's to many great things to come.